three billion dollar net personal income increase in the first year. I have, um, when I said that I was going to have you on, um, you can't imagine the mail, pro and con, that I received. There was a theme that ran um, against you, and that is, you're a 9-11 truther. Well, there's lots of, lots of mud that people would like to throw at Deborah Medina and make stick. The truth is, I'm an everyday, ordinary person. Um, I am fighting for the things that our founders fought for, those very basic principles of a constitutional republic, and I'm going to champion people that hold their government accountable, hold me accountable. Um, but uh, that's the first time I've heard that accusation. <laughs> so that's an interesting uh, one. Right. Here's, uh, then, let me, then let me be more frank and ask you the question. Do you believe the government was any way involved with the bringing down of the World Trade Centers on 9-11? I, I don't I don't have all of the evidence there, Glenn, so I don't I I'm not in a place. I have not been out publicly uh questioning that. I think some very good questions have been raised in that regard. Uh there's some very good arguments and and I think the American people have not seen all of the evidence there, so I've I've not taken a position on that. I think <laughs> the people like in America yes. America <laughs> might think that might be a yes. Well, do you have uh, do you I mean, have advisors? Do you have advisors? Are, or I'm not going to take a position where okay, I, that's I think fine. good questions have been raised and they're not do answered. You, do you have advisors um, that advise you or people that are around you that are 9/11 truthers? Not to my knowledge. Would you, if you found out that there were, would you um, disavow them like the president uh, should have? But I mean, he escorted him out in the middle of the night. Van Jones was a 9/11 truther. Um, if you found out that people around you are advising you were 9-11 truthers, would you disavow them or allow them to continue to advise you? Well, you know, that's a, a federal issue. We're very focused on issues in Texas, on Texas state government. I'm certainly not into um, mind control or thought policing people. Um, no, that's we've a pretty got big a one. very diverse team in this state, and it is because Texans are standing shoulder to shoulder to support and defend a constitution. Um, I, I frankly don't have yeah, time to, I, you know, to go through and do psychological testing on people and know every no, thought or detail that they have. Um, I. I I don't see us having a, a team of radical individuals, if you will. I think that there are certainly some that are looking, um, trying to use scare tactics. Um, I, you know, are there? No, I don't think there's people? a scare yeah, tactic. Uh, Deborah, that you've, have you've tried answered to come the question. And be a part of our team that have right. not gotten on the team. Absolutely, there are, but um, I, I can't. Uh, yeah, I understand. You know, I don't know. Deborah, That's you've a lot of the context. Question. It's it's difficult for me to answer. There, I guess it would depend there's... on. On you know how how um, vocal they were about that and how much I thought it colored whatever other talent they brought to the table. Yeah. Okay, Deborah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it and best of luck to you. Thank you, Glenn. You bet. Bye bye. I <laughs> think problematic. Well, I don't. Well, I don't endorse <laughs> anyone. <laughs> I think Why? I can write her off the list. <laughs> Let me take another look at Kay Bailey Hutchinson if I have to. <laughs> Rick, Rick, I think you and I could French kiss right now. Let me now tell you something. He's this. a damn handsome man. <laughs> He's a damn He's handsome a, man. Looks good in a pair of jeans. Wow. He's a handsome man. Wow. The fastest way back to 4%.